days. So I had my uh, two appointments with the psychiatrist or the psychiatry ward at the hospital. And uh, so first one was just basically the nurse asking me tons and tons of questions. And then the second one was the actual um, psychiatrist. Um, she had read through the questions and answers and she had her own questions um, for me. So I sat with her, the nurse, and her, um, I don't know, uh, what's it called? He's going through schooling, so the, I don't know, her assistant or something? I don't know, whatever he's called. Anyways, um, so there was a couple times where I got emotional, and I don't really get emotional, um, if I've mentioned that to you, I don't know. Um, I don't really get that emotional anymore after uh, I've been on the Seprolex. So she touched a few um, spots that made me really emotional um, about the the miscarriages and stuff. Um, I forget what we were talking about, but just, um, I think she was asking me like if I'm totally okay and uh, like if I have uh, what's it called? If I have like support from everyone but I forget the way she worded it and I said I do but at the same time people don't get it around me um, like no one around me in real life like besides um, YouTube and Facebook no one around me in my personal life gets it and uh, I mean I did meet a friend um, who did go through it and like we're close now but she does have a baby now and we do connect and she's really really awesome but at the same time like no one really gets it so I got emotional because some of the things that people have said to me it just they still hurt me um, and what else did I get emotional for? Oh, um, because I, I kept telling her, like, I feel like a crazy person. And I feel like my relationship with Justin is... I'm making a video, so... Don't listen. Um, so sometimes when I'm going through these, like, up and down emotions and stuff, um... I feel like it affects our relationship and I start crying because I'm like I just want to get better for everything and um, I don't want him listening okay he's gone and um, yeah I just sometimes I feel like I'm just I want to just hide from the world and sometimes I feel like I just need to escape so I've, it's my own fault, my own feelings. Like I feel like my I I feel like I have anxiety every single day, and I feel like I'm going crazier and crazier because it's not getting better. So I, it does affect me in my life. So that I got emotional for, and um, so by the end of it, she said that. I have um, pretty bad depression and I thought I had some depression but after the appointment after the certain questions he asked me and all that I'm like okay I do have depression and that's a little scary because I I do like I don't know how to help myself so what she had said was they are going to give me 20 sessions to speak with a psychotherapist, I think that's what she's called. Um, so they'll be calling me soon to set everything up. It'll be like once a week for, yeah, 20 sessions. So I'm really excited for that. And um, as for the Ciprolex, right now I'm on 10 milligrams. They said um, that I might go up to 15 and I really didn't want to go um, any higher with my medication 
but she said that it might help um, to go just a touch higher with the therapy sessions because they will go hand in hand and um, so I thought okay so if I'm if I'm going to seek help I'll maybe try going five milligrams higher um, but I'm, yeah I'm just looking forward to speaking to someone and and just getting my all my thoughts and feelings out there and having someone just I don't know help me through it um, so yeah that's that's uh, basically it for those appointments I've been feeling okay like I still have my good and bad days um, I, I did remember I didn't show you guys a picture of my cousin that passed away and I did want to do that um, so one sec so I'm just gonna cover his name and all the information here so I don't know why that looks weird on camera but yeah that's him and every time I look at these pictures I just I don't know I, I'm still baffled at the whole thing I, it's it just doesn't make any sense to me and yeah I, it's still a little bit surreal and I just get really really sad when I think about it so I try to stop myself from thinking about it because I need to start thinking positive even though it's really hard um, so I think that's pretty much it for that um, I did film a cooking video and I'll be doing some more videos, just have to um, edit that one, put it up, and uh, that will be on my other channel. And I think that's about it. So um, thanks so much for watching and all your supportive comments, they absolutely help me. Um, just knowing that there's people rooting for me and yeah, so thanks again and I will talk to you guys soon. Um, I guess like I'm not really sure how to proceed with um, these type of videos like would you guys want to see um, like what we what we talk about every week at the appointments or maybe like once a month or like yeah I'm not sure what you guys are interested in seeing I like sharing it but I don't want to put it up if if it's boring so yeah let me know and uh, I'll talk to you soon bye